Could we experience full dive by taking advantage of lucid dreaming? Maybe. They are the closest thing we have to complete immersion today, after all. Hello Virtual Dreamers, Gregory here. I've covered this topic in the past, but I decided to touch on things again, but from a different angle. Let's start this off by saying that lucid dreams are the closest things we have to full dive, period. When you're in a dream, your immersion level is 100%, and you can move about within the dream freely without having to worry about your real body. There's an actual paralytic agent in your nervous system that activates when you sleep to make sure that you don't end up acting out the actions of your dream. So it basically accomplishes the same thing as the nerve gear and bull dives information redirection. It just does so naturally. It's as ideal a setup for 100% immersion as one could hope for. All we need to do is find a way to readily induce a lucid dream, improve the ability to remember dreams, and maybe even find a way to control the contents of dreams technologically, and we'd be set to climb a hundred floors the way Kayaba did in his dreams that inspired him to create Sword Art Online. Sounds amazing, right? Well, hold your horses. If things were this easy, you'd think we'd have pulled this off decades ago. There are obviously some challenges here. For starters, most people I know very rarely lucid dream, with the few people that do so regularly having taken time and made an effort to improve dream recall and practicing techniques to lucid dream more. Unless we develop a way to lucid dream on demand, we're not getting anywhere. It's also worth remembering, since we're dealing with dreaming, that there is the issue of the flip side of joyful dreams being nightmares and sleep paralysis. Not everyone's got sunshine and rainbows in their heads and potentially inducing them to deal with that regularly as they transition may not be the cleanest process. Add in that we're currently no better at controlling dreams with technology than we are controlling our senses with technology, and it's clear that this isn't a shortcut to anything. Until software developers can program our dreams and network things together, it'll be solo leveling, Mario Maker, and hand saving our games for now. If there's a cheat code IRL for my edgelords and emails out there to escape into La La Land by 2022, it's unfortunate that I don't know it. Doesn't mean that there isn't hope out there though, it just means that we have to be real with what we've got. Lucid dreams, more work to achieve than most people are willing to put in or not, are still the closest things we have to full dive. Just because things can be troublesome for them, doesn't mean that they're without merit. Other immersion methods are having just as many issues dealing with this stuff too. Everything is at an early stage right now. There's no sense poo-pooing this route. It's just another option, and I'm certainly not beyond trying it. Heck, I've literally got several dream journals and even lucid dream myself from time to time. Nowhere near as active as I used to be now since I'm more interested in conquering reality than my own head right now, but that doesn't mean everyone else has to be doing things my way. If you think lucid dreams are a great path towards full dive, go ahead and pursue it. But like with everything, Please do your darn homework. I've gone to college, spent money, time, and effort behind my methods. Expect to expend a similar amount of effort or more, lest you become a victim of a scam or waste your time. Brain research of all kinds is early, so if all you came to this video for is to hear someone tell you that lucid dreams are full dive, lucid dreams are full dive. When you figure out how to make someone who never dreams have them 100% of the time for full length, max clarity, and control them so we can load Sword Art Online into someone's brain, patent that, John, arrange an appointment with some investors, and send a paper to your favorite scientific journal and collect your billions. Some of the biggest fun of science, time, and progress is getting to look back at whose ideas were right and whose ideas were wrong. So do your best to change the world into the form that you want it to be. Thank you very much for watching this video, everyone. Be sure to rate, comment, share, and subscribe so YouTube algorithm-sama knows to bring you back here for more. Till next time, my fellow adventurers and dreamers, this has been Gregory, logging out.